discuss about congenital adrenal hyperplasia now read the name what is congenital congenital means something that defect from the birth itself okay now the adrenal hyperplasia that means that the adrenal glands is swelled up due to defective function of the gland due to enzyme deficiency what is the most common enzyme deficient in this pathway this in the steroid pathway if you have seen my previous video there are various enzymes and the most common enzyme which is involved in this thing is 21 hydroxyxylase now this 20 hydroxyxylase so the 21 hydroxylase enzyme is needed for further produce uh, production of corticosteroid and mineralocorticoid so 21 hydroxylase is a gateway enzyme for making the pathways of corticosteroid production and mineralocorticoid production but if this enzyme is deficient means this pathway is blocked the pathway which is not blocked is sex hormone production pathway so all the uh, substrates that are uh, going to be corticosteroid and mineralocorticosteroid now goes into another pathway divert into another pathway of making sex hormones and basically androgens so androgens are very high amount from the birth or from the intrauterine life so the androgens are so much high that's why the problem arises now you have already seen that the pathway of 21 hydroxylase is blocked that's why we don't have sufficient cortic cortisol that means glucocorticoid or we don't have sufficient aldosterone that is mineralocorticoid so because of this very necessary steroids are not there we face many many problems for example due to decreased aldosterone the salt and water will vest so hypotension will be there less amount of blood volume is there because of aldosterone is decreased increased potassium decreased sodium will be seen okay okay so this is what the basis of <coughs> uh, 21 hydroxylase deficiency and due to cortisol is very less then the negative feedback on the pituitary will be less that's why ACTH will be increased so ACTH will be in tonic increased uh, amount and increased progesterone in steroids due to decreased 21 hydroxylase the progesterone is increased 7 hydroxy progesterone is also increased and we we have a very specific importance of 7 17 hydroxy progesterone because when we will measure when we do lab test we measure this substrate that is 17 hydroxy progesterone tested as a screening test okay so and you have seen that the androgens are increased in the intrauterine life and they dominate over estrogen and that's why if the child is female then she will have male like genitalia development she will also have a precocious puberty and virilization so this if this if the child is male then okay there is no such a big problem but if the child is female then she will behave a ambiguous genitalia male like genitalia if you see the symptoms and if you try to diagnose the congenital adrenal hyperplasia when the patient first comes to you is when when there is a baby born if the baby is born and the baby have an ambiguous genitalia then the next thing you do is karyotype if the karyotype is done then you will find that yes it is xx that means the child is a female basically and you will do ultrasound you will also find the ovaries so if the karyotype is a female and there are ovaries that means it is not true hermaphroditism okay you can also see my video on hermaphroditism okay now 
in this thing mullerian duct is okay there is no problem mullerian duct have nothing to do it will develop as it is mullerian duct will develop until unless the testis is available once testis available and in the testis the sertoli cell is available and in the sertoli cells the amh anti mullerian hormone is produced until then mullerian duct will be there if amh is present then mullerian duct will not be there irrespective of whether their gender is a female or male so there will be uterus yes fallopian tubes vagina everything but as again i have already told you about the ambiguous genitalia in my previous video there will be clitoromegaly Gen early fusion happens like genital fold genital spelling that's why the scrotum like structure penis like structure will be there short stretcher will be there precocious puberty sodium potassium dearrangement and hypotension will be there so if you do a diagnosis then you see that yes the karyotype is xx of female an ultrasound you can find vagina uterus fallopian tube ovaries the lab diagnosis is made by this hormone production testing that is 17 hydroxy progesterone the level is increased if the level is less than 200 we can sufficiently say that yes it is not a congenital adrenal hyperplasia if the level is more than 800 then we can surely say that yes if the this level is more than 800 in ambiguous genitalia in a female baby the diagnosis is congenital adrenal hyperplasia if the level is in between then we do try to differentiate by ACTH stimulation test if we give this ACTH then the level of pregnant uh, uh, 17 hydroxy progesterone should be more than 1500 so if the level is more than 1500 we can surely say yes it is a CAH if it less than 1500 then we can again uh, re see uh, rethink of the diagnosis now what is the treatment treatment is what what is deficient mineralocorticoids are not produced that is given corticosteroids are not produced well in this person that's why we should give corticosteroid and also we do a corrective surgery for the female male like genitalia for the female in future life so this was all about the congenital adrenal hyperplasia thank you